everyone and welcome to another Clip Studio paint tutorial for beginners. Uh, today we're going to talk about resizing because I got another request to do this. So let me show you guys quickly uh, and then we'll get into the details. So if you want to resize you go to the top menu up here and then you go to the edit button. Let me just uh, shrink this so you guys can see better. So here in the edit you go to change image resolution, change canvas size and transform. So this is where you can find them in Clip Studio Paint. Now for uh, those of you that want more details about this let me get into the meat of the video. So um, first of all I wanted to talk to you guys about keyboard shortcuts. You know I know a lot of you don't like this but uh, they're very useful. They really speed up your work. So control uh, button on your keyboard and T and you press both of these and bam. Now you have this and you can resize things. And there are a whole bunch of features in this. I'll do that. I'll cover that, the transform tool in another video. But for now, just to resize within the image and um, how to resize the canvas and to change the resolution because this is pretty important. I've gotten requests for this uh, from people that want to do their own comics and they're using Clip Studio Paint. So let me explain to you guys more. Um, so the image resolution as you well know ideally uh, when you're working with a digital for um, a digital medium uh, it's good to use 300 resolution. Um, if you're doing something digitally and uh, it's going to be printed on something very big, then you can go to 150 in order to um, uh, save yourself uh, space because you will get a huge file and when it is printed on, let's say, a canvas that's going to go on a whole building, uh, nobody's going to see the pixels and it's not going to be an issue. So that was the change of the resolution and now I'm going to show you how to change the canvas size. So let's say you need more space to draw. You can increase this and now I got some transparency and it's very nice that it gives me transparency in Photoshop you get whatever color is selected here <laughs> in the left and it's always annoying because I have to make sure it's uh, uh, I, I have to delete the background canvas or I have to change the color there. Now if you want to make it uh, smaller, change canvas size to less, uh, it will crop my image. Now I still have the information here, uh, it's not been deleted, it's just that now it's out of bounds of the canvas. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to use this and I'm going to use as examples um, the Pastic and Webtoons and that is where I am published. Uh, also I wanted to show you guys uh, <laughs> if you uh, resize, there we go, that is uh, Control T to transform and resize something inside the canvas. I just wanted to have it here for you guys so I covered it uh, well and explained it. Sorry for the detour. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Line Webtoons and show you guys um, what the standards are here. So uh, the image that you upload must be less than 800 pixels wide and 1280 pixels long and upload up to 20 mega bytes in total so you can put multiple pages up here. This one is too big it won't let me. I have to go to my uh, smaller folder where I've resized everything. And each file can be up to 2 megabytes um, size and it has to be uh, JPEG allowed, uh, only JPEG. On uh, the Pastic, it doesn't give you all of these details, but I'm going to tell you now that as well you can upload multiple pages here. And it's going to tell me that 8 mega is too big and it has to be uh, at m most uh, 2. But also, 
uh, it uh, allows for a slightly bigger file size so it's going to be um, 940 pixels while here it is 200 so it's smaller on webtoons than on Tapastic. Uh, that being said, let me show you how it is in my folder. So here I have uh, the Niels Feynman comic folder and I have the new pages that I made over here and they are at uh, a big resolution. Uh, actually I work at 600 pixels resolution. Uh, and here I have the resized ones. So these are... Uh, let me show you. It is, as you can see, 940 pixels by uh, 1,453. I am using a letter size because that is the size, uh, the re um, proportions of uh, printing width, uh, padding, and margins uh, for comic books here in the USA. So. Um, of course, it's not this resolution. This is the um, resized one so that uh, it uh, fits for uh, printing in, um, uh, for publishing on Tapastic. So I'm going to go with a full size one, and you can see it's free thou It's almost uh, 4,000 by 6,000 pixels. And I take this into uh, Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop and then I go to edit and change image resolution and uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change it to be 940 and uh, it scaled automatically to 1,453 and there we go. Now it is the size that I can uh, publish on uh, Tapastic and I'm gonna go save as because I want to keep the big file as well and then I go to my other folder and I save the file which is already there but let's say I name it and uh, now it's good to be published on Tapastic. Let's see. And yeah, it has 940 pixels uh, width maximum which is uh, the limitation for publishing on Tapastic. Now, uh, what else I wanted to explain to you guys is why I work in 6,000, um, uh, so, sorry, 600 pixel resolution instead of uh, the normal 300. And how it ties in with fonts. So here the font is 12 points. Hope you guys can see. Here it is. It says it is 12 points. Now, uh, if I didn't work at um, 600 pixels resolution and I worked at, uh, sorry, if I didn't work at uh, 600 pixels resolu resolution and I worked at 300, um, the points here would be the same. Um, the file, if you check and see uh, canvas size, it's going to tell me um, 6 inches and 63 by 10 inches and 25 and um, a normal uh, letter page is uh, 6 by 10 inches uh, for a comic book for printing on uh, let's say lulu.com or kablam if I want to print with uh, those uh, comic book printing companies and uh, book companies um, they will say, uh, they'll have uh, lists of uh, books they can uh, publish and it will tell you there um, what options they have. And for example, one of the sizes is 6 by 10 inches for comic books and um, 
you also need to give them the file with pot padding and margins and bleed. And let me show you guys. Uh, gotta close this. Publishing guides. So as you can see here, I have this um, red line. And what is outside the second red line is what will might be cut off uh, on the cutting table when they assemble the comic book. So here I wasn't careful and as you can see this bark is gonna go outside of that margin and it really sh wouldn't, shouldn't, because uh, when it gets printed you might have part of that be chopped off. So it's good to have those margins as well and to check with your printing company in your uh, country what all of these uh, different standards are so that you never print outside of uh, the margins. Ideally you shouldn't go outside of this one either but I like to go outside of the frame a bit and hopefully um, if I ever print it on paper it will still uh, look okay. Um, depends on the company that you are working with and what their guidelines are and what is allowed and isn't allowed uh, because they have different standards in how the machines are calibrated, what kind of paper they're working with, and so on and so forth. So always be careful about these when you're printing on paper. Uh, my recommendation is um, to start printing digitally and uh, get used to that. Well, sorry, publishing digitally. Get used to that because it's a lot easier. Okay, so uh, if you want to... Um, print on paper also check out my uh, coloring video and explains the difference between RGB and C, uh, Y, um, and K printing formats for color. Uh, okay uh, and um, the reason I uh, like to work in 600 pixels uh, let's see if I can find if it tells me the resolution, there we go. So here I have the resolution 600 instead of 300 and uh, why I do this is because I prefer to work at a much higher resolution um, in private than what I publish just because I have more room to do the line art finer. So at the moment the resolution here is when you see it like this, it's just 15%. You are now seeing 16.67% uh, of the resolution. And if I go 100, let me show you guys, 84, uh, 101. So this is 100% resolution and I can easily work at this and be just fine and not have to worry. Uh, if I want to make it even cleaner, like these details here are not going to show up. Did you see those when it was 15%? No. So I have to zoom in a lot. Now it's 600% zoom in until it gives me this pixelated grill and grid and I start to see things pixelated. And I really um, like to have a lot of resolution. I've turned off the grid so that I can get in and do a lot of fine details on the characters and not have to work with uh, bulky pixels. It's um, generally recommended whenever you work in digital to work at a much higher resolution because if you ever need to uh, resize to make it smaller you can always make it smaller it's not a problem but if you need to all of a sudden uh, get a higher resolution and you do not have that higher resolution then it's gonna be hard to do anything about it. You will have to redraw something. So yeah, that's why I work at 600 pixels uh, instead of 300 um, and instead of making the image bigger because you know, another thing you can do is let's say you make this 12 and you make that 20 and it would be kind of the same thing the only difference is then instead of uh, 
writing your text at 12 points, you will have to do it at 24. And for me, it's just um, a bit uh, cumbersome and confusing. And uh, I like to stay within that uh, 12 points because um, for a letter size, which this is the size of the, the canvas, uh, letter size American style, with 12 points, um, when, uh, when you print it, um, the text will still be legible and you will not have uh, issues where the text is too small and you can't read it anymore. So let me show you guys. So my pages, let me get one with more text. My pages, uh, even on when read on the mobile phone, um, that you can still uh, read the text and it's still legible. Um, if you start to fiddle around, uh, aside from the standards, you might make a mistake and make the text too small because you see it on your computer and you see it uh, zoomed in and you think, oh, this is so easy to read. Everybody can read this. I can read it. Oh, look how big it is and it's fine. And then you go and publish it and you realize that, hey, wait a second, there are some issues here. And I also have a uh, big computer screen, uh, which uh, can also uh, induce me in an error of safety. And I think, oh, look how uh, easy it is to read the text. But then um, if I go on a mobile device or on another device, it starts getting harder and harder. So you have to take into account um, what other devices people might read on. Uh, Tapastic generally recommends that you post your comics um, a long strip. So uh, one of these panels will be the full page width. So instead of it being, let's say, 300 pixels width, it will be 900 pixels width. And that will ensure that on every mobile device um, you can read the comic easily. However, uh, if you try and read like that on a computer, uh, it will be pretty hard to read because uh, you have to scroll a lot and you'll scroll and scroll and scroll to get to the end of the uh, episode. And another thing is, um, I am considering uh, printing these on paper and I simply do not have the time to work twice to make a format for the digital in which it is a long strip and also make a version for the print. So I chose to only do this version and I did my best to choose a font and size that uh, will be acceptable for reading online digitally a comic. So be careful with the text, make sure it is big enough. Uh, have in mind all of the numbers that I told you guys and uh, Hopefully everything will work out. I am going to do in the next video a uh, more in-depth um, tutorial about font sizes and font types um, for comic books. So uh, hopefully that will explain better to you guys what you can do to make comics for the digital world. So again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hopefully um, this helped you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.